Good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station. And we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. It is our understanding that they've gone with a 4-5-1. Well, it's a formation, Peter, that lends itself to good possession and control in midfield because you've got the numbers there, a higher concentration. Backing that up with enough attacking dynamism is down to managers who want to get at teams. It can be used in cautious terms too, but certainly if you want to advance a little quicker and you have that attitude, then you can be very positive about this too. Well, just joining us, we are already on the way. So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Rian Mares. He's one of the best dribblers around, Peter, with such delicate... Oh, the whistle's gone. What's he given? Well, the referee has given a free kick just outside the box. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. He's having a go. Oh, how good is he? The finish of true class. And that's got him off to a flyer. And he's produced a beauty. special feel of a potential upset but it's a little early to get carried away just yet Foden and it's played forward now it's Mares looking for a decent ball in oh that's clearly not what he wanted to do and here's Mares No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. Forward it goes. Gundawan. Real chance! Oh, that was no routine save. Oh, that's a sparkling save, absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. They've played it short. Mares. Kundawan. Could be a chop and a shot. Oh, great save, real class. Well, as Tesco put it, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Just to locate someone up front. Bernardo Silva. 
Gundogan. Plays it out to the wing. Gundogan. Out towards the flank. Mares. Bernardo Silva. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? get it forward quickly Ake plays it forward and it's Bernardo Silva goes for goal That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Tries to dink it in, and it's hoisted clear. Great leap! Oh, not the best of headers. Bernardo Silva. Phillips. Phillips drives it forward. Bernardo Silva pings it out wide. And he's cut it out. Forward pass. Has he found his man? Phillips. And the whistle goes for half time. And there we are. Off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. Whistle goes, and we start the second half. Manchester City need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. A chance to play it in. Gundogan shoots! They've scored! And the second half is off to a flyer! And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, what a convincing response to going behind. They've got all the momentum now. Hoists it forward. Foden. <laughs> 
Foden. Phillips. Bernardo Silva. Has a pop! It's a goal! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! Oh, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. Yeah, I really can't say enough as to how good the final ball was. It took the defence out of the equation for that split moment, and the damage was all done. So here comes the substitution. So we have a breakthrough. Now how will things develop from here? No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. Ruben Diaz. Just about up to the hour now. And it's played forward. And that's the end of that. It all started well enough. Oh, that's a waste. Ruben Diaz. Gundogan. Tries to get it forward quickly. He's got options out wide. And it's Bernardo's shapes to shoot. He's a good enough try. His reputation is better than what we've just seen. <laughs> Bristol making another change here. Okay. Gundawan looks to bypass the midfield. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. Phillips. Bernardo Silva. Kyle Walker. Walker drives it forward. Put paid to a promising move. He's picked him out. Ruben Diaz gets into the right position to intercept. Bristol are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Bernardo Silva tried to play it through. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before he made the pass, and its obviousness was, was appreciated. Bernardo Silva. And here comes the corner. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. And he just whacks it away. Phillips, Bernardo Silva, five minutes left on the clock, almost there, and the players can feel it. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Manchester City can afford to settle on seeing this one out by running down the clock, I think. Well positioned to make that interception. And 
that's been levered clear. And the weighted pass. Good idea, just poorly executed. Time is ticking away, and they're playing as if they're defending a lead. They've got to get it up the pitch. The ball's out on the left now. Played into the middle. Gundogan. So that's it. It is all over. Well, that's bounce back ability. Responding superbly to come from behind, shrugging off setbacks along the way, and determinedly getting there in the end. So there it is. What struck you most about?